Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use the button function version 1.0 by KVC. So, let's start by having some preview. So, as you, if you will download the button function from our batch blog, that is the batteam.org, in the CMD extension, you will get at number 22 button dot bat. So it is a function, it's not a plugin. You can get to this page by others and CMD batch plugins and you will it will be redirect you to this page. And here you will get a lot of batch plugins and functions. So here we will in this tutorial we are talking about this button dot bat. So how this function is working and how to use how you can use this in your batch programs. I have used it in my batch program hotspot creator version 2.0 and you can have a preview of how the final output will look like the, this is version 1.0 and this is version 2.0 you can make buttons like this and this these all are made with the button function so this is the 3 kbs approximate 4 kbs of button function so if you can want to see the patch code these all are comments and here in the comment I have given an example to how to use this button function you just need to call button dot bat and the name of the button first the text you want to display on the button the color of the button and the resultant variable in which you want to save the code of the button then you want this is the yes one if you want the shadows and then one for the border type and similarly you can pr print as many buttons as you can in a row so this, this is all the algorithm working of the button function and this is the help menu so let me show you a button test simply and showing different types of button layouts that can be made using this function this is the button with y and one that means it has shadow drop down shadow and a one there is a single border it don't have drop down shadow and a single border it has a drop down shadow and a border of type 2 and it has no shadow and border of type 2 similarly these buttons also so this is the border of type 3 so without border is type 1 with single border type 2 with double border type 3 and yes no is for drop down shadow and the function is dependent upon this pad box plugin so you cannot use this function without this plugin what this function is doing is when you will apply it let me show you how to use it clearing things up so when you will call the button function and you have to call it button dot bat and then the text to be displayed on the button for example i want to button i want a button with the text yes and the button should be let me see its syntax first the button should be of green color with black background and I want to save the output to a variable named underscore yes so there is a variable it will create a variable named underscore yes and I don't want any drop down shadow and border of type 1 so I will write it yes and press enter excuse me for a while back again so after pressing enter what this button function will do it will generate a code that is executable by badbox.exe and it it saves that code into the variable that we have just specified as underscore yes so in order to see what the code is i am simply writing echo and then percentage the name of the variable yes and boom as you can see it is of only this much of length and this code will print a button on the CMD console 
so anywhere I want to put that button I just need to call the bad box function and bad box plugin and then write the location of the function that is origin I want to change the origin so let's clear things up first and then do what we were doing so I'm calling bad box and then changing the origin for example I want to print the button on 5 comma 5 and then just simply write the variable and press enter and you will see it is a button with the green color text and black background with no border type so we have selected border type 1 so let's upgrade our code and make the button with border type 2 that is single border so press enter and it will overwrite the previous button let me clear the screen and now what we will do is we will execute the code code with bad box so press enter and as you have seen a short, small button has been placed at the or origin 5,5 that is here and the button is still not clickable it is just a layout for the button so what bad box function will do bad box function will only print a layout for the button you can write as many buttons you can generate as many button codes as you can with the bad box with button plugin function and those all can be executable at once by bad box so while analyzing my code you will you can just need to see the source code for the hot sort creator version 2.0 and what you will know is how to use this awesome batch function using this function is very much easier so let me show you the help menu of this function first just right click and open cmd club here right here button type slash question mark press enter and it will tell you how to use the button function you just need to call the button function and the name of the text you want to print on the button and the color of the button the variable in which you want to save the code of the button and then yes or no and then the border type you want to see with the button you can make more than one button by this function only in single line so you just need to reapply this a one two three four five parameters for each button after one parameter five parameters the one button code will be saved and it will take the next five for the next button there are three border types one two and three and one has no border two has single border and third three has double border for any other details just visit our website patch programmers or we have bought the new domain that is the bad team dot org please do a visit and share your views about our work so as in previous example as the button fun button function will only show a layout of the button on the console but the button is not clickable to make it clickable you need to use the bad box slash m command with the parameter slash m and you need to manipulate the mouse output for example bad box slash m it will tell you the location where the mouse has been clicked so it is at 49x and 11y 49x and 11y with the code 1 that is left click so you need to use this bad box slash m in the for loop so that you can make the area in which button is displaying clickable so literally the button is not clickable but it is the button box in for a function is just generating a layout of the button and you are making it clickable by using bad box slash m command so you are using two different methods to make one button function so that's all 
for now for now i just recommend you to go to go to the badteam.org and visit hotspot creator version 2.0 and its source code you can download it from the here link here thanks for watching i hope you like it feel free to comment bye bye